Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I cannot believe it's August 30th. August 30th. Scary, isn't it? Where does the time go? Where does the time go? Where does it go? I don't know. I don't you know. know. I am going to put it in my Bluetooth. I hear a little bit, a little bit of an echo, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I think now that is good. All right, let's say hello to everybody, and then we'll we'll chitty chat a little bit. So, hello, Sandy and Cindy and Joyce and Julie and Joy, Facebook user. Good evening. Who are you? Who are you? Who 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 who? <laughs> and uh, user again. Oh my God! And Vicky and Gina and another Facebook user. I think these are your people. It's good to see whoever. If y'all just have to let us know who you are by going to www.streamyard.com forward slash Facebook so we can see who you are or please identify yourself. I think these are all of your people. That Holy are coming. cow. And you know what? I'm on my Facebook page and I cannot see this stream. Oh, well, what's I'm happening? Here. What is happening with that? Hi, Tina and Delora. Sharon Wisdom. Hello, Sharon. You changed your picture, Sharon. Looks very nice. There's joy. Joy to the world. Good to see you. Good to see everybody. Thanks, guys, for being here. It is, you know, I have to tell you that starting in September, September 9th, to be exact, I will be on September 9th. It will be the day after I get back from the cruise, but I'll be on. And then starting that September 9th, and then we'll have a guest on September 16th. And I guess on September 23rd, we're moving to Saturdays. We're moving to Saturdays, and I'm excited. Um, so are you feeling better? Me? Me or Ginger? Someone was cute on TikTok today. They said, oh, I wish it was a Ginger Moon. I go, well, speaking of Ginger, we're going to be on today. Um, so it's great. Uh, Tara, how are you? Good to see you, Tara. How are you? Not Tara, but Tara. Um, oh, Amanda, you're asking Amanda. And Duke Jacob is on. So good to see you, my friend. Love the Saturdays. Yes, summer loving happens so first. It did. Well, guys, if you don't know who Ginger is by now, you should know. Um, Ginger is a soul sister. She is Ginger Peric Healing Heart Medium. So Ginger has been a nurse for how many years? Almost 19. 19. Mm -hmm. 19. I was going to say 20, but 19 years. And you have been an aromatherapist. You are an aromatherapist. You are a reflexologist. You are a psychic medium. And you make your own creams and lotions and sprays. You are a collector of oracle and tarot decks and crystals. Yes. Did I cover it all? Yes, I think so. I think you did cover it all. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Delora. And oh, yes, thank you, Delora. Thank, you, thank you so much. Hello, <laughs> Jonathan. Thank you for being here. Um, how'd you find out about us, Jonathan? Thanks for being here. Um, and to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Facebook user says, hi, Ginger. Good to see you guys. Who are you? I Who don't know. This is weird. Can I go to stream this to my audience again? Because it's not showing on my Facebook page. I don't know. You can. You can Will it mess it. things up? Let's see. I don't think so. Oh, I, I have to select my destinations. That oh. would be there are all people oh. that are there we go. I'm selecting my destinations. Guys, ready? Oh my select. gosh, what should I title this, Elias? Um, it's connecting to your heart. That's what I thought. That's what we're talking about today, guys. Is how many of you trust your heart? Tell us in the comments. How many of you truly connect to your heart? Tina says, I couldn't find you on Facebook. Well, Tina, did you go to Elias Patris or did you go to my 
personal page. You need to go to my business page and you'll see it. And there it is. There it is. Um, new nurses rule. They do. Yep. Vicky, I do. Okay. So Sharon trusts. Vicky does more and more every day. And guys, what happens when you really start trusting your heart? Do you step out of your comfort zone? I hope so. I really do hope so. Uh, good. How do I get rid of sciatica? Okay. Yeah. Is that trusting your heart or is this a, like a medical question? Cause Ginger's a nurse. Good question. Elias. Let's find out. Let's find yes. out because yes. I can tell you as a former massage therapist, go sit on a tennis ball and roll back and forth and see if it's, if it's pseudo sciatica and it could just be your piriformis instead. The secret language of your body. Yes. Great book. Great book. You are on Ginger's page. Got it. Excellent. Perfect. You feel like a Care Bear. Seriously. Thank you. Um, do you have your magic eight ball? I do. Um, I hear a cute ice cream truck going past, but planted it here in my chair. Good for you, Julie. That's good. So, um, Ginger, what do you do? Well, first of all, how long have you been doing psychic medium stuff? Well, outwardly out of the closet psychic medium stuff for probably about 10 years using my abilities to um, manage life my entire life you know, having that intuition that empath that that psychic ability at that mediumship i've been using that my entire life to survive yep. because to survive. It's, it's difficult yeah it's a survival skill in a lot of ways for those of us that are psychic mediums and are really not taught at a very early age how to manage that only my awesomeness yes we're in that book because I think you mentioned just a little bit about your story, no. just a, a little bit about your well, story. Please in share. Here. Please share. I will. Um, I just need to get to your, your <laughs> chapter. Wow, That's look all. at all the people on here. Yes, see, is not know, nice. Ginger is out of the closet. Yes, Jalen. I have been actually out of the closet for 10 years. So coming um, out of the shadows and into my light. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a great chapter. If you do not have this book, please get it on your awesome. There's 27 of us in here and you know, several of us in here, myself, Ginger, uh, Sherry Dworkin Smith, Pandora Pappas, Janet Zavala's in here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people that you would know that have been on my lives and on Ginger's lives. So it's great. It's book. Um, and Elias sells it. And I also have it available on my um, website. You can buy the yes. book. So whoever you choose to book to buy it from, Elias and I are not attached. It's as long as you read nope. it and learn and grow, that's what we're attached with. So, so true. So true. Thanks, Delara. So um, before the night is over, we'd like an introduction of Ginger Skull Crystals. We'd be here for a couple hours if she had to introduce all of them. But this one, is this your oldest one or your newest one? In the middle. Kind of, a, okay. it's probably towards the last, <coughs> excuse me, the end of buying crystals. This is pre nice And um, this is Amanda. So Amanda. And what is pre night for? pre night is the healer's heart stone. So I pulled Amanda out because pre night is for the people that work um, and give a lot from their heart. And it drags a lot of our energy out. pre night is to heal the healer stone. Heal it's the really healer. Heal the I healer like stone. it. So if y'all need, um, you know, it comes in many different forms. Just to change the subject for just a second. Here's a raw piece of pre night. Hmm. That's raw. Um, it, it just feels really good to hold on to it. So it's really good for the healers, for those of us that heal and do a lot of healing work or just give our heart away uh, or just do too much and don't how to say no. It's a really good stone to help bring that energy back in. So thank you, Dolar. Yes. And you guys, it's her website is easy. It's gingerparic.com. Mm -hmm. Gingerparic.com. Yeah. So um, love that you work in urgent care. So totally love that. So uh, you are now working in, with um, in pediatrics. Yes, I'm a pediatric nurse. Yeah, I pediatric little people. Nurse. I'd rather work yes. with little people. Yes, little people. Mm -hmm. That's great. Can That's I have? Great. Have anybody ever had a poppy? I'm sorry, I'm spun out with this moon. It's really got me going today. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So how can we how can we attach the 
listening to your heart with the full moon, the super moon, the blue moon. Because I was talking earlier about it is not just, it's not just about putting out on there, like, this is my heart's desire. I want to release this. Mm -hmm. I want to know what's blocking you from releasing that. Because if I said this on TikTok earlier, if you replay, you cannot repair. That's so. I like that. I like that very um, much. Right. It's the same thing as I've always been saying, you know, from uh, Sue Page from Pathways that I took her training program. If you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you always got. So if you continue with replay, you're not going to repair. You can't repair if you replay. Right? right. So thinking about the heart and going to that level of what's blocking us from letting go of my self-doubt. That's what I want to release. And that's what my heart is telling me to release this. Then I need to go deeper where, guys, not deeper in your head. You have to go deeper into your heart and say, what's blocking me? Put your hand in the center of your chest. Breathe with that and say, what is blocking me from getting to what I want? And, okay, so if it's self-doubt, you know, who caused that self-doubt? Well, family did. Why? Well, because they said this and because they said that. And what's my fear there? Or well, the fear is, you know, they were going to judge. Oh, that's what we need to let go of is that fear fear of judgment. Yeah, that's a big one. Would you agree? Yeah, not only from other people, but we don't even own the way that we judge ourselves. Mm. We pay more attention to how the world is judging us than how we actually judge ourselves or the expectations that we put on ourselves. And that comes from up here versus from from our heart, all of those upbringings and the things that we've heard. And like you and I talk about our Greek and our Catholic guilt, all of those things that we put on ourselves keep us from really coming from our heart and working through those things because that stuff gets in the way. So what would you say, Ginger, to somebody that says, every time I operate from my heart, I always get burnt? Well, it does happen when you, it, I mean, it's going to happen, but if you're operating from your heart to keep from getting burnt is to, to have your expectations that in fact, it you actually could get burned, but this also is setting up those boundaries. When you operate from heart, when you operate from heart, who are you going to be around when you operate from your heart, removing those people around you that do burn you. And are they truly your friend? Are they truly, I mean, family's family, they're they're They'll do what they do. But I think, when you operate from, you can't be in fear of getting hurt when you operate from your heart. You just have to set your boundaries and your expectations and know that sometimes you're going to, and that's okay, but don't hold on to it. Don't dwell in it. Don't wallow around in it. Just say, okay, lesson learned, move on. That I won't allow myself to get into again. Does that make sense? Okay. Totally. And Julie says, good evening. We must keep our hearts open, but be selective. Yes. Very good. That's it. Yes. Very, That's very it. good. Yeah. Nicely said. Very Nicely well said. said. Mm -hmm. Because again, you know, if you get stuck in the yuck and you don't thank that piece for coming, mm -hmm. then you're in replay mode. Then you're going, oh, did you get it? The universe is going to constantly give you people to test whatever that is, whatever topic that is. And you do put that energy out mm -hmm. and you attract it. So you setting that intention of what you want to attract also helps to keep things clear from you. I mean, we do, we set our intention. We go out there and, oh, it's going to be a horrible day. I'm going to run into horrible people. I'm going to have horrible patients. You've already set yourself up for failure throughout the day. I'm going to go out and be open with my heart. And I'm only going to, I'm going to ask for that, which is in my highest good to be around me today. I'm going to ask those lessons that are in my highest good to be with me today and, and just go with that kind of thing. It's an attitude change, almost an attitude adjustment about what you expect when you walk out of the house. We're safe in our home pretty much, but it's when right. we step outside into the outside that we get that. Yeah. So. Delar has a very good question. Um, how do you describe the difference of your heart, higher heart versus your heart? 
Oh, well, see, I would think of that as, are you talking about the difference between your physical beating heart, your electrical beating heart versus your, what we like to call, um, the, they say the soul, your soul is in your heart center. It's in that heart chakra. That's where that's at. So I would say the difference between your heart, you've got your heart that beats and keeps your body going and moves oxygen and blood throughout your body. And that keeps you alive and provides vital, you know, oxygen and blood to your to your organs. And, you know, that you have to take care of in order to keep living and take care of that. And then you have that higher heart. And to me, the higher heart is your soul. It's your it's your inner self. It's your spirit. It's your connection to source is what I feel the higher heart is. And I would I would piggyback on that and say, yes, it's your connection to source. It is that higher heart. Mm -hmm. If you look at. The, like if you're like, well, I'm speaking about my heart chakra. So the heart chakra is the way that you love, mm -hmm. is what I would say. Your higher heart is how you love unconditionally. Right. Right. I agree. Right, I agree. Helps. Facebook user, thank you, Gin Journal. I you both look great. Thanks. Thank you. We both are on a weight loss journey, or mm -hmm. I should say a weight change journey. Releasing. We're releasing. Releasing. Aren't we? Releasing, releasing and letting it go. Yes. Please release. Questions that you guys have. Please release me. Let me go. Yes. Um, hello, Angie. Thank you. Do you guys Hi, have any questions about connecting to your heart? So what are ways that you do it? What are ways that you do it? That I say once again, I got distracted with, I'm sorry, I looked to the right and saw all of those beautiful comments and completely lost track. Lies. I'm so that. squirrely today. I'm telling you, this Pisces moon is biting me. Chris yes. from Iowa, hi. hi so Chris please. From Iowa. You please know Chris from Iowa. You know Chris from Iowa. Mm -hmm. Chris from the retreat. On, yes, Iowa. hello. Please read um, your questions. So how do you, Ginger Para Healing Heart Medium, how do you connect to your heart? What are the ways that you tap into your heart? For me, I spend a lot of time in my heart. I'm trying to, how do I connect to that? How would I describe? Mm -hmm. is, there, stay, is there like yeah. a ritual that you do? Is there like a prayer, a meditation? What do you do? This is, that's a very interesting question. I've never had anybody kind of nail me down to that because I come from my heart. I've been told I walk through the world with rose colored glasses on and I always see the, the best in everyone. So how do I connect to my heart? I try to stay out of my ego because your ego can cause a lot of issues with, with coming from your heart. So I try to stay out of ego. I try to stay out of the scientific side of life, if that makes sense. Science is very important, but that that I try to stay out of that left brain mentality. I, I gosh, how do I, I just try to walk, walk in beauty and try to see the best in everyone and try to, when I meet someone for the first time, as a here's how to I, uh, as a nurse I look everybody over head to toe because that's like a trained thing to look at people I glance at them from head to toe but I don't make any judgments when I look at them and I think that's how I try to stay in my heart when I walk I don't judge people I haven't walked a mile in their moccasins I don't know where they're coming from or what they're about so I try to use my mom's thing is use um you have two eyes, two ears, and one mouth. You use it proportionately, is what she used to say to us, meaning to make sure you look and listen and speak when you need to speak and not just jabber on. So I try to approach life as an observer, and that is coming from my heart. I observe everything around me. I observe the trees, the, the wind, the sun, the rain, the animals, the children, the elderly people, and just the adults. And I, I just try to take it all in. And be an observer and look at the positive and the good in everything around me and in mm -hmm. front of me. It's draining sometimes because it's heartbreaking because I often think they don't get it. Why don't people get it? Why don't people get that you just have to be kind and smile? After COVID, no one does eye contact anymore. No one smiles anymore because they walked around like this all the time. Right, right. I agree. The sun's coming and, in me up. 
you know, you smile and say hi to someone and no one answers back. So I think COVID really made an impact on the human race, which has made it difficult for people like me who are empaths and sensitives to, to function. So my co my co-host is walking around. So um and closing the the yeah. drape. Yes, go ahead. That's you know, it's hard to describe how do I come from my heart because I've done it since the day I was born. So and I try to stay in that mind of forgiveness and love and acceptance and non-judgment because mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to judge me. And you and I both know what we do in this line of work, we're judged a lot. Um yeah. so yeah. Yeah. I freaked my medical assistant out at my doctor's office yesterday when I was getting a physical because she asked me if I could, she saw my bracelets and asked about them. And I tell them, she goes, can you see auras? I'm like, yes. What a color are my auras? And I'm like, well, if they ask me, and I told her, and then what does that mean? And then I told her, and then she's like, she held the paper up. She goes, okay, well, I'll go get the doctor and left the room. And I could see her, I could hear her out at the nurse's desk talking and I'd given her my business card and between my when the doctor came in and she came back in again the entire back office had looked up my website so I mean which is good but right then, it's very good I it's had to I, I was in my head I'm like gosh I hope they're not judging me so see yeah. and that's when we that's why this needs to talk to this mm -hmm. instead of this talking to this yeah um julie says you two are wonderful models of living a wonderful life thank you so much thank you, we julie. do the best that we can mm -hmm. um Not i haven't perfect. always been present in the moment i made a conscious effort to do so now that's excellent amanda mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. hey mk good to see you susan good evening good evening so if you were to tell somebody okay I'm starting to slowly get into this whole woo-woo piece of understanding that I have to follow my heart, but I have not always done that. And I don't know what it means to follow my heart because I was never shown that. You have good questions tonight, sir. I do. And this is just coming right in. Nothing scripted. I know Nothing we didn't write scripted. it. We didn't write no. not, we didn't mm -hmm. write anything down. Matter of fact, really my computer for... crashed 20 yes. minutes before I got on. Um, little Mercury retrograde nanner nanner nanner. Yes. So um, and I usually don't buy into that because I was born during Mer Mer Mercury. Me right? too. So I don't even know why it's messing with me. I almost it said shouldn't. a bad word. The I know you could say it on here. It's okay. I don't know. Otherwise, you might get banned like I did for three um, days. It's, it's if you weren't taught and you want to learn to come from your heart, find people that come from their heart and learn by example. And I, and, and it, be gentle with yourself. This is a, uh, thank God, you know, my mom taught me, you know, so I was blessed that I had my mother and my grandmother and they were those beautiful beautiful souls and beings that watch over me now. But I think if you're not taught that and you haven't experienced that, exposing yourself or getting around like-minded people or finding that that group of people that do come from their heart, I think is a good start. I mean, you could read books, you could watch YouTube videos, but I think an in-person encounter with people that come from their heart, truly come from their heart, um, it can help teach you how to, to how to do that, and it's it's a process, and it's in you have to be gentle with yourself and allow yourself time and not be self critical because you know we we are apples don't fall from the far from the tree we are a proof of the environment that we grew up in. I don't know how. If you read that a book, the my, the chapter in my book, how I came out the way I did because I grew up in a very abusive house household, but somehow, yes, own your awesomeness, that book, somehow I came out of that with my heart open. And I don't know if I was just born that way, or if that's something that my mom would say things to us to keep us there. I don't know. I can't explain it. So I think it's just exposure, exposing yourself to the right people and being gentle with yourself and allowing that. Do you agree, Elias? You're coming I do agree. And making I me do. Think questions tonight. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. And I would agree. And I would say this as well. Um, first of all, I have to acknowledge Delora because she said, doesn't mean your computer was born during retro. So uh, 
Got to love I'm it. I'm going to sage it. Wait, I have spray. I'm going to sage yeah, it while we're talking. There you go. There go. I have my miss my my sage spray. So here we go. Oh, what is it? You're, you have a sage spray? What is that called? Did you My share sage that? spray is called Mystical Sage. You want to show it in front of the camera? This is an old label. I was just oh. looking to see if, because I sold them all out, but this is a really old label. But my other one is okay. quite pretty. It's blue. And I'm out of them because I've sold them all. I'm making more. But yes, my That's mystical good. sage is, if you can't if you can't smoke it, spray it. No, I don't smoke it's it. So if you can't burn it, spray it. But we'll spray around here. <sighs> Much better. So, um, you know, <laughs> Tara says, um, I've come from my heart and was hurt for doing so. And like we said, that's going to happen. But I think that if you don't have a role model for how to come from the heart, think of somebody like, somebody like, somebody like um, a character on TV, mm. somebody that shows that, like, I, I'm going to say a program that's on, was on Hallmark, um, the Hallmark channel. There's um, the woman from, I forgot her name. She's really a petite little thing. Her name, well, she's not really petite, but she's tight, slender. Um, <laughs> she was in China something, I forgot. But it's The Good Witch. And it's oh, a yes, really yes, good yes. program. That and, you had to come from your heart. I watched the entire series. Yes, all seven yes. seasons. Yes, yes, I did. I, I I've watched them a couple them. times. Yes, I binged them. Yes, absolutely. But that character that she plays, mm -hmm. um, and uh, Cassie Nightingale, Cassie. that character that yes, that she plays is always coming up with these profound yet gentle ways of speaking from the heart. And it, it's quite a good show. Um, and if you want a good laugh, this has nothing about coming from the heart. But watch the Miranda show. It gets me every single time. Yes. Uh, hello, Leslie. Thank you. Good to see you. And uh, me, Spark. It's kind of awful to say, but sometimes we need what we need for our highest good can be a heartache. heartache. It can be. It can be because that lesson is what we learn. <laughs> Sister Sledge, good to see you. Hi. Yes, says Stephanie. I'm um, always told not to wear my heart in my sleeve. I get it. And the funny heart thing is, yes, yep. yes, I have heart <laughs> on my shoulder. And I have a heart on this one. And I have a heart on my ankle. I have very similar on my ankle. Yes, yes I know. I, I remember when ankle. you were here. Yes. And I, it's for the world to see. And don't listen to people when they call you crazy. That was my biggest thing. Was I crazy? Like biological? Yeah. You, you know what? And it's okay. Um, thank you for, uh, yes. I love the people that I have met. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm learning to live in my heart, not others' judgments. That's beautiful, yeah. Sheila. Yes, Look at true. you. Excellent. Look at you. Yeah. Love it. Um, and be careful what you put in your head as far as TV shows and music, because we hear that an ego gets all excited. Can be. Can mm -hmm. be. Uh, Hallmark Channel has a Christmas cruise. <gasps> they do. Fascinating. Um, <laughs> great show. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hello, Kim and Karen. You guys are wearing your hearts. We are. We are. Yep. yep. Um, I have a heart where no one can go. Where no one can go. Okay. Well, at least you can go there. Right? So, um, we're talking about heart energy. Is there a heart? Because I know that you, hi, Sherry. Is there a heart that you, a crystal heart or a um, essence or essential oil that makes you um, feel comfortable in the heart? Yes. You have a heart. I have several. Hey, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. Whatever will Mukite. be, will be. What is that? This is Tiger's Mukite. eye. Mukite. Mukite. Mukite I, is I, very I, grounding. I hold on to this one. See, it's it's a jasper. Mukite is a type of it's a jasper. It's like a yellow red jasper, but they call it mukite, and it's super super grounding. And I think there are times that when, especially when you get your heart hurt, 
You can use rose quartz um, hearts yes. or, you know, it doesn't have to be a heart shape. You can just use that. Oh, that's very pretty. Very pretty. But this it's mukite sits on my desk and I pick it up when I just need to ground and bring myself back down to center. Okay, Sarah, that's a really nice heart you have there. That's from it. you. I it's know. From I, you. It showed up at the perfect time for the, at the it retreat. It did. Um, it did for the retreat. Yes. And and so look what um, look what Julie wrote. Julie said, I lost my husband four years ago today, plus other family members in the last year. Did not think there was room in my heart for anyone as I thought the grief wouldn't allow. Surprise, I have a new person in my heart and it's wonderful. I'm seeing life much differently. Life is good. And I bet you, Julie, you know, Julie, that your I former husband God. gave you that yes. person. I Julie, I'm so proud of you. And if I remember right, I think Julie is a retired nurse, if I remember right. Um, sh she's been following me for quite some time. But I am so proud of you, Julie. I am so very, very proud of you. You've come a long way, baby. Good job. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Yes. yes. And there's also fluorite. Fluorite. Fluorite is Talking great. On the truth. Fluorite. And there is dragon's blood jasper. And doesn't that look like a little person there, like it saying yes? like a little person in there. Yes, with their yeah. wand in their hand going, yeah. Woo! Yes. So, what about you, Elias? What about me? What do you do to come from your heart? How do you stay in your heart? I'm going to throw it back at you, brother. What do you do to stay in your heart? I know, barking on the truth. Barking on the truth. I'll get mine going here in a minute. Um, yeah. So here's, here's several ways to stay in my heart. I'm wondering if our house guest is back. So it is. Please. Wait. Jamie is uh, back from the farmer's market. What'd she bring us? Um, what did she bring us? I don't know what she brought us. She brought us a lot of stuff. Um, yes. Um, she brought her water bottle um, and a lot of other stuff that she got excited about, I'm sure. Um, so Jamie used the back door. She can't get in the back door. Um, so the thing for me is to stay in my heart is surrounding people, surrounding myself with people that that do that, surrounding people that come from the heart, surrounding people that I love, surrounding people, you know, obviously my husband, obviously the dogs, obviously my friends, my soul community. Um, for me, even listening to music, um, memories will allow me to stay in my heart. Um, honoring my mom and dad in some way um, always um, gets me there. So those are several ways that I can do it. Data, good to see you. Thank you. Um, Hi, Dana. I listen to you both, and it's helped to move forward. Plus, Noel, Noel. Manikam. Noel. Noel. Noel, Noel Manikam. Yes, Noel. Oh, Nikki and Noel? Hmm? No. Who Nick and Noel? No. No, Noel Manikem is um, I believe her niece, and she is one of um, she's a psychic medium also that oh, I know. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, I remember now. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes. Uh now it just took me a moment. Um That's okay. so um Slanja. it's Poppy Slanja. Oh, I'll do that with you as well. <laughs> Cheers. Those are other ways that I will stay in my heart is, um, you know, I have to tell you, doing this work keeps me in my heart. It does. Doing this it? work. I yeah. would say that if I was still in advertising or if I was still, you know, massage work did keep me in my heart. I do have to tell you, massage work did keep me in my heart. Um, but I have to tell you, doing the retreats definitely keeps me in the heart. It you know, is, go ahead. No, and I was going to say, you know, doing my work, you know, I worked at home for three years. You know that. I was working right. from home three years. I was able to do more of my lives. But sitting at home working on a computer for three years for my personality, for who I am, which I'm, I'm a total people person, um, I have to say put me in a, in a dark place, not in a bad dark place. I just wasn't getting interaction 
and feeling energy and picking up on people. I, I think I couldn't help people the way I wanted to be able to help people. Excuse me, bubble up. Um, <laughs> I wanted to be able to, I, I like to help people. I like to do things for people. I like to educate. I like to see light bulb moments. I like to just gently be that person. Like if you're in the grocery store, um, I had a woman that was standing at the meat counter. I was walking by and it's a very busy grocery store. And she was standing there staring at a couple of packages and she was tearing up and crying. This woman, she had to be like 75. No one noticed her, but I felt mm -hmm. her. And I said, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm having cataract surgery and I'm trying to get my groceries and I can't read the label. Can you please tell me what this says? Mm. I was just like, oh my God. So I grabbed her and walked her around the rest of the store and helped her. She had come on one of the buses that brings the senior people to the store. And I walked her around the rest of the store. Was I in a hurry? Did I need to be somewhere? Yes. But who else was going to pay attention to her? And I picked up on that to me is coming out from my heart, being able to right. do that. So I went back into pediatrics because I needed people. I needed to be around people, even though adults, no offense to anybody that's on here, they kind of suck sometimes. They're not the nicest, you know, because adults, we have our, our own agenda and our own issues, but kids are the closest thing to heaven and they never do really anything directly at you for any reason to harm you. There And that has filled my heart and has allowed me to come more from my heart to see a smile and to see that. So um, I just want to share that. That's just one of the things that helped bring me back out because I was pulling in and becoming introverted by sitting at home and staring at a window working on a computer all the time. I needed people. So yeah. that's another way to come from your heart. If you're a people person and you've got yourself boxed off, you're you're suppressing your loving energy and not allowing it to shine and be of service. And that's important to me. Always has been. I love that. So, um, okay. Heather says walking on a beach connects me to my heart or nature. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So many people can feel that heart you have. And that's why we are here. Thank you. That's beautiful. Um, agree. Ain't uh, ginger kids. And look what Dolores says. I'm your nurse. I'm here to save your life. Not kiss your I have that. I have that little thing. I have that one. Do you? Yeah. A friend of mine it. gave it to me. I'm here to save your life and not kiss your ass. Yep. Uh, lovely to Facebook, see you too. I wish you knew who you were. Say yeah, who, say who you, you are. Yes. Um, she Amanda says, I literally have that t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Love it. I miss people since I retired. I was an ER nurse for 50 years. We have a lot of nurses on here. It's, you know, and once you're a nurse, always a nurse, you never stop being a nurse. You would just have to find a way to use your talents to keep around people. That's true. Yeah. That is yeah. true. Wear yeah. your heart. On your, on sleeve. your sleeve. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. So um, you got a couple things coming up. I want to mention before we like rush yeah. off. Tell everybody what the exciting news. I know it, but everybody else doesn't know it. I'm so excited. <laughs> so for those of you that live local here in the Valley, when I say in the Valley, in Maricopa County, in Phoenix, Glendale, Peoria, you know, that area. If you live here locally, starting October 21st, it's going to be the third Saturday of every month. I have found a beautiful space to hold um, a psychic medium circle psychic mediumship development circle, which I'm going to take all of the things that I've learned over the last, my entire lifetime. And I'm going to be teaching a two hour class on Saturday nights from a six to eight. And it's in person, hands on. And I'm going to teach, I'm going to be teaching um, psychic abilities how to do different types of psychic abilities, how to um, how to use a pendulum, how to work with energy. I have some really cool things that a lot, a lot of people teach that I taught. And I think Elias and I talked about a little bit, a lot of things that you don't get exposed to that will blow your mind that you can do it. It's a poof, poof. And um, then we're going to work into some mediumship. And I'm going to try to do this every every third Saturday of the month and spend time doing this. And um, it's going to be at and um, hold color. I was, my computer crashed. I hope I didn't lose everything I was trying to work on. 
It's posted on my website. I did save it. So it is actually posted on my website, gingerparic.com. And it's in the on the home page where it has a little description. And then there's a link to click on to go to my square page to buy your ticket. And it's $25, which I think is highly reasonable for what you can use. We'll start with a meditation. And I mean, each month, it's going to be something a little bit different that you're going to learn and have homework and set up practice groups to be able to practice with each other. I'm thinking about bringing in a friend that does drumming. I wish, I wish, I wish I could bring my friend from Illinois here for drumming um, that helped us make our drums. But maybe, maybe I could drag her out here. You can drag her. You can call her and say, hey, Nicole. I could. I could. Hey. And, right. um, you know, some drumming and we're going to maybe teach some yoga for meditation. I'll bring in different people and it's going to be, I'm super excited because I love, love, love to teach like you do, Elias. And I think this two hour class every Saturday gives in people a chance to come out. And so it's on my web page. It's at the center. I'm New going vision center for spiritual wisdom. Thank you, Delora. You've got that. Thank you. She I've got, got it on there. Look at her. Snap, snap. You should snap, keep her. Snap. Every other Saturday the month, 6 to 8 um, uh, Pacific time. It's Arizona time. We never change our time. Yes. In person, a psychic development circle at the New Vision Center for Spiritual Wisdom. Um, if those of you that are here, in, um, that's where Sunny Don Johnston does her angel day. Oh. And um, there's Nicole. See, so you Nicole. ask, and there Nicole, she is. I'm going to drag your butt out here. I think it's a really good idea. I, can we make drums in two hours? Mm. You can make them in three. You can make them in three. Well, I have the room, so I don't know. They may not be happy with me doing that in that room because of the uh, – yeah. We, we met, we upset the last church. We did that in a, a little bit. But, Nicole, I would love to have you come out. And – um I'm excited. So that's what I have coming up that I'm super, super excited about because this is um, finding the space that allows you to They have a labyrinth there. So people can, hi, Tammy. They have a labyrinth there that allows you, you know, so those that want to come early can walk the labyrinth and we're going to sage everybody before they go in the room. And I'm, who knows what we'll, what we'll be able to solve. Should the heart just came on my, oh no, that's nice. Um, I love it. Who knows what I'll come up with, but it'll be, it'll be very, very good. And after you work on your psychic abilities, then work on a delve into mediumship. And it's I for beginners that. or people. I should have not drink fizzy drinks because uh, it makes me burn. No. So um, it's for beginners up to people that already have skills just to kind of hone them in. So I'm super, super excited about it. Did I'm I excited for you. That's awesome. I'm super excited. Is there anything um, else I have coming up? Uh, um yes you do i'll tell you that in a second um you amanda worked in er and trauma for 14 years now she's a nurse practitioner in woo! palliative care it's kind of like hospice they're not really hospice yes. but it's palliative i think it's palliative. mostly a lot of pain management and symptom management yes. and bless your heart i did hospice for five years and that is Amazing work, Nicole. So less than oh, there's that her less than yeah. She mwah, kiss. Thank you. Nicole. That's a heart. It's a heart. I know. Girl. Is it? It's, it's a beautiful heart. I miss yes. you, Nicole. So, and um, so Ginger will be um a guest on my new podcast coming up September twenty second on the Mind Body Spirit FM. And super excited about that. Um, we will have, Ginger will be one of the people of the many that we will have on the podcast. So please go and sign up for that. Um, thank you, Delora. And uh, super excited to have that on. Now, Ginger and I um, next year will probably be doing another retreat. That would be um, great. So we're just looking at places, guys. Um, so we're not sure. We were trying to look at, there's a possible place on the East Coast. We were also thinking of California. There's, um, Ginger was actually looking at a place in Arizona um, and doing it while it's cooler. Not while it's hot. Because I'm yeah. not going to do it when it's hot. Can't yeah. do it. 110 um, right now. Yeah. 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 
So, um, oh, I didn't, I may brag. Continue on. I might, I'm going to, no, go ahead. Camera go ahead. I think yes. I can do it. Hold, please. Hold uh -huh. it. Not a cute horse. Cute horse. That's Aaron's horse. Aaron's horse. Yeah. Does Aaron's horse have a name? Um, Lacey. And then Aaron's Lacey. horse is in spirit. Yes. Oh, it's in spirit. Okay. Yes. Okay, wait. <gasps> there. I have to share. My friend Janice Gleiman. You know Janice. I know Janice. She went to Peru with um Sunny Don Johnston. And yes. um Nicole, you're going to like this too. She went there and I asked her if she could look for a, um, my words are not here. A mesa. A mesa for me. A mesa cloth for me. Yes. She found me one and brought it back. I So I have my very own mesa. It's not large, but is absolutely magnificent. Here is handmade out of alpaca. My oh, nice. mesa cloth. That's beautiful. I love it. Cloth. Yes, it, very nice. You know what? Beautiful. Look at the. Hang on, let me do it. And I guess each one of these Let's designs. See, look at the colors that I have. It's very similar. Look very at similar. That. My yes. brother from another mother. Yeah. Oh, another other, we say. My brother from another from other. Another other. Yeah. I don't know what each one of these symbols are, but she did say that each one of these are a family, like a crest or a symbol, and that these women. Um, hand make and hand weave these. It's a very tight weave. Yep. So I have, I've got to get it all blessed and set up and ready to go. And my mentor, Elias Patras, will help me with that. But I got this last week and I'm, it's not large, but I think it's perfect. It's yes. perfect. I so, love it. It's excellent. It's it is perfect. Excellent. And it's from Peru. It's from Peru. <laughs> and for those of you that are Peru, <laughs> and if you, um, if you guys are interested, on September 23rd, Moira and I will be doing a free information talk mm -hmm. on the apprenticeship program. It's a one-year program. We will talk about the MESA. We will talk about how to set up your own medicine wheel. And thank you, Delora. You are on it today. Um, every day you're on it. Um, Earth Honoring Apprenticeship. It's a one-year info Zoom with Moira and myself. And um, it is going to be uh, quite fascinating for the people that are interested. And if you just, maybe you're like, oh, I want, just want to check it out. Then go to info at eliaspatris.com and then just put in apprenticeship mm -hmm. and we'll send you the link for it. So mm -hmm. I'm super excited about it. Super, super excited. Um, to Laura, Richie, do you use boards? Probably some high techy thing. Um, so uh, yes, that's awesome that you have a cloth. Now, here's the thing, guys. When we're operating from our heart, and maybe some of you might disagree, and that's okay. If you come from your heart and you're centered and grounded in that place, mm -hmm. you can't do wrong can't do wrong if you come from your heart you come from your brain gets in the way it totally get gets in the, in the way totally yes yeah totally gets in the way what have you and, got coming up not to throw you off your game other than um that. well i've got a lot coming up <laughs> <laughs> yeah you and i get to hang out in florida together for we get to hang out for a whole week. I'm super excited week. about that. Party That's, on the um, beach. Yes. Yes. Amanda says, more tin, less scarecrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Um, I have a master file of everything. I know you do. I know you do. Um, so what do I got? Well, I've got the cruise coming up. Tomorrow we leave for Seattle. And then from the 1st to the 8th, I'll be on the cruise, and that will be a lot of fun, uh, presenting three different workshops. Mm -hmm. I will see um, Molly McCord, Sunny Don Johnston. I'll um, also see Rosemary Hurwitz. She'll be on September 23rd, and she's going to talk about the Enneagram. Hmm. 
So I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, and what else? Um, and then uh, I will have some surprise cruise ship lives. I will, so you guys can see. It's on a celebrity ship. I'm super excited about that. It is. Um, I come back on the 8th. We'll have a live on the 9th. We switch our guests to Saturday nights, everybody. I mentioned this in the beginning of our program. Uh, switch to Saturday nights. Um, what else do I got? Anybody in the um, Portland, Oregon area? If you are, um, unfortunately, Jamie won't be in the Portland, area, Oregon uh, area um, mm -hmm. in September, but she will be soon. Um, she, uh, We've got um, in person the New Renaissance Bookstore. I'm doing an animal spirit guide. And Dolores um, uh, switching me and reminding me, we've got Soul Chat on the 9th. And on the 14th, speaking of Delora, um, I was going up backwards. Um, on the 14th, we have Change Your Traits with Color. It's an eight-week series with Delora and I. If you're a people pleaser, a perfectionist, control freak, a fixer, an empath. We're going to talk about how that happened. Nobody's that on this. No, no on one here. has that problem. There you go. So we're doing that starting September 14th. And <laughs> um, come and join us. All the information that you need is on EliasPetrus.com. And yes. if you sign up for my email list today, you're not... Here's the thing, what I'm noticing, guys, and just full transparency. Many of you are on here. But when you show up for something like, oh, I'm interested in this, it says invite. And I think if you don't like and follow, it doesn't show up that you're a follower on my end. And on my end, that's really important when I go to a TV producer, a, a radio producer, or a production manager, because they're going to say the first thing is, how many people on your social media? I don't like it, but that's how the business is currently because they want to make sure that whatever you're selling or program that they're going to be selling, that you can fill the spots. Yeah. So. All I right, Paula, to take care, honey. My social. I have 692 followers on my page, but only 550 still on my TikTok. I still can't get anybody on my TikTok. So guys go to, go to ginger TikTok. healing heart medium and go TikTok. sign up for her TikTok. Thank um, you. We need to do that. I, I think like some videos, like even some funny ones will get you there. Or if you, I feel the way that I got it, I'll show you the crazy one that I got. I, I reached the thousand mark. I think I got like 300 people from this one video. It was less than five seconds. And I can't believe this is what, this is what put me over the edge. It was just because I have to have a thousand to be able to do lives on TikTok. You have to have I a thousand. I sit there and watch all those other psychic mediums on TikTok. Oh, yeah. I know. It's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. um, but this one, this one actually took you, it Delora. to the um, over the top. What did Delora do? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I Delora. just have to like hire her. That's why I want to talk to her. I just have to hire her. Over That's 50. it. You're right, kidding. Just calling all TikTokers over 50 to support. But then you got to have the hashtag things in there. Like support oh, over 50. Challenge. Oh. Yeah. 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 I'm not. And I'm not. You see, I'm not that generation. I'm still working on that. Okay. I don't know how to stop it now. Okay. There. There you have it. So, but, you know, I will have to tell you. Uh, I used to do these just to make me laugh. I know. Just I Young used to do life. them just to make me laugh. Um, you know, and I would I would show Ginger. I'm like, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. <laughs> yeah, so, you do make me um, laugh. You do make me laugh. Yeah. This one is, I'll just show you on here since it's only, you know. Priscilla on. is the TikTok getter queen. Priscilla is. Hi there. My funeral. I want someone to take the bouquet off of my coffin and throw it into the crowd and see who's next. 
You know, I watched one the other day. I think it was on TikTok the other day where it was a, this guy in Ireland played a uh, play. He, he did a voice recording of himself before he died to be played at the graveside. So here wow. they are. They've lowered his casket down into the ground and they play this tape of him going, hello, hello, get me out of here. And of course you see the, the people that are just, they're like, Oh, you know, and then, and then he does some other things about laughing and joking, but they, he did this audio tape to be played at the graveside for his family before they threw the dirt. It was, it was not funny initially, but the rest of it was hilarious. So That's I thought funny. that was great. But That's yeah, funny. I need to do some short videos. I'm just, I, I'm not as hammy as you are. I'm, I'm well, not... I've seen you in action. <laughs> I've seen you in action, my dear. What are you talking about? I've seen you behind closed doors. You are hammy. <laughs> I'm a little hammy. We'll practice. Hammy. You know what? We'll just practice, we'll practice. In, in Florida. You know, we'll do when some in Florida. Florida. Well, in we're Florida. Florida. Uh, yes. When we're in Florida, we'll, we'll practice. Yeah. I know I could do some du duets with her. I could. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. All right, guys. You know, know. we uh, this hour just goes by so quickly. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you for being on here. Guys, please follow Ginger at Ginger Healing Heart Medium. Look up her stuff that she has at gingerparic.com. Mm -hmm. And um, I am going to, everything's packed. I just have to pack the last minute stuff like um i got the eyebrows done i was going to make mention thank you yes they look lovely. but um you know what and i'll just mention it sometimes here like there's one or two little ear hairs and i don't want to present so i'm gonna bring the tweezers just you can pluck those suckers and in two days they're back they grow overnight they just come out oh my Amazing. god brad was like driving to the bank with me and he was yeah. like he kept like rubbing his eyes and rubbing his eyes and rubbing his eyes and going, what the hell is that? So he's at the in line at the, in the drive through at the bank and he jerks his glasses off. My husband, Brad, he jerks his glasses off and he said, look in my eye and see what's in there. I can't see what's it's bugging me. And I look and he's got an eyebrow hair. This is a sign you're getting old that has curled around and is sticking him in the eye. And I, burst out laughing that sucker had to be like that long i burst out laughing i thought it was so funny he goes what is it and i reached up and i go Unk. yeah <laughs> and i handed it to him that's part of getting old yeah how loving that is that you handed it to him that's, yeah well that's you know nice. you gotta pull the airs too i pull his yeah, yeah. i'll yeah, share i pull his ear hairs yeah Maintenance it's, is important. It's, yes. it's maintenance. You're right. Yes, exactly. Yes. So I have the, <laughs> the tweezers to bring. And, you know, it's all the last minute stuff. Because John is the kind of person we've been packed for three days now. I know some of you are early packers. I like to pack the day of or the day before because I usually don't do anything that day. And I just gingerly know to bring things over and I have a little checklist and now I'm like, Oh, 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 uh, any back hair, as long as we're shaving, you're sharing, you're cute. Um, this isn't that kind of a trip. Remember we're going to Alaska, not the Caribbean. Yes. Yes. It's no yes. spells maintenance with that. Yes. Yes, it does. It does. It's fun. It's fun. Anyway. So get ready for some cruise ship lives here on Facebook. I'm sorry, YouTube, but you have to come to Facebook. And um, again, we want to thank you. As always, we are here to connect. And mm -hmm. when we connect, we educate. And when we educate, we grow. There is unity in community. From our hearts to yours. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.